What's up, my name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can create 3D models for your browser using JavaScript with CDog. Here you can see I am in their homepage and there is a lot of cool things going on. You can see like all these flat shaped 3D models and, and you can animate them. You can get very creative as you can see here in these examples. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about this library and it's very simple to getting started. So I'm just going to click here, getting started. And you can see that we can use canvas. And then the only thing we need to get started is just putting this URL, which is the cdog.library. And then we can start adding our own JavaScript to create our 3D model. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Let's, I'm just going to copy this script right here and I'm just going to close this. All right. So this is my tax editor right now. This is my HTML site and you can see it's totally empty. Um, I'm going to paste this inside my body here. All right. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a canvas here and I'm going to put some class. It can be whatever you want. So I'm going to put cubes because um, I'm just going to add some cubes there and I'm, I want to animate some cubes. So let's call that cubes. And then after the C dog, I'm going to add my own um, JavaScript file. So source equals to and main JS. That's my file. And you can see I have the file here, but it's totally empty right now. We're going to add some stuff. So I'm going to save my HTML. All right. Nothing is going to happen. You can see my page is blank right here. So I'm going to go to my main JavaScript file and you can see that both are in the same folder. Okay. Just letting you know. All right. So now let's start coding our 3d model. So first thing, a variable. So I'm going to do const. Um, this is like my main variable. So this is the one that is going to group everything. So if I create five different models, it's going to be inside this variable. So I'm going to call this cubes equals to new C dog dot illustration. And then inside here, which is an object, we have a couple of things that we can add. So the first one and the most important one element like that. And here is the class of the canvas, which is cubes. Okay. Coma. One thing that I want to do, I want the canvas to take the whole space of my viewport. So I'm going to do resize and you don't have to, if, if you don't want them to take the whole space, maybe it's just, a specific size. All you have to do is put that size in the canvas and that's going to be the size, but I'm going to do this resize full screen and you're going to see how it looks now. So let's just, um, save this for now. And right now there's nothing we need to create now the model, which I'm going to create one cube. All right. So let's do const. Um, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it cube one, for example, equals new C dog dot box. It's going to be like a box. You can call it box. You call it cube. I don't know. I'm going to call it cubes. All right. And now inside here, we have some options for that specific box that we want to create. So the first thing I want to add this to this group. So let's do add to cubes, which is this one. All right. And now the width of my box or my cube, uh, let's do a hundred. Um, the height, same thing, hundred, you can play and you can do whatever you want here. You don't have to do exactly these numbers. Okay. The depth is going to be, uh, let's do the same thing. hundred stroke. You can add some stroke to that box. I'm going to put false. I don't want stroke. All right, and here's some colors that we can add to the different faces of this box. So left, oops, left face. 
and you can put um, whatever hex you want. I'm just gonna start putting, you can put whatever you want. Um, right face, so it's gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna put a different one. You're gonna see this color in a minute. Top face. Let's do another one. Whoops, this needs to be on quotes. And bottom face. Another color. All right, I think we are good with that. Let's save that. And nothing's gonna happen yet because we need to now put this inside our canvas, this cube. So let's go ahead and do cubes, which is this one. Remember the this one called cubes is the one that is gonna group all the other cubes, okay, that we can create. Update render graph. All right, let's save that. And here you go. So you can see here we have a box and nothing is happening. It's just one boring square. So to make things interesting, let's animate this box. That way we can see all this, the sides. Let's go here and let's create a function for the animation function. Let's call it animate cubes. This can be whatever you want, doesn't have to be named like this. All right, and let's go ahead and say cubes, rotate dot white, you're gonna be plus equal 0.01. Um, this is kind of slowly rotation. You can do a little bit more if you want to. Um, let's do cubes dot rotate dot X. Same thing, plus equals. And let's do the same thing, 0 0.01. And now inside here, we need to actually update. So it's gonna rotate, it's gonna update the, the graph, and then we need to request animation again. That way it's a loop like it, it rotates again and again and again and again. Okay, so request animation frame. And here we're gonna do, which animation is it? Animation, animate, oh my gosh, cubes. All right, so this function, remember, is you're rotating um, the cubes, which is all this, is painting that in the browser and is animating it and is running the animation again and again and again. So let's save that. And of course, nothing happens because you need to um, run the actual um, function. So animate cubes, and there you go. Let's save it. Here you go. Now we have actually something interesting going on. Your box is animated, and you can change the animation um, speed. Let's let's do a little bit. Let's do 0.4 or something like that. Here you go. <laughs> All right. So that's kind of crazy. Let's go back to point one or one slow. There you go. All right. There's an option that you can zoom in a little bit. So it's a little bit bigger. So here in my cubes, I'm going to do zoom equals to, um, let's say two. I'm going to save that. There you go. Now that's a lot better. Um, now I want to create more cubes. I want to play with something more interesting. So let's go ahead here and let's create another cube. So this cube is going to be uh, another variable. So I'm going to call it cube two equals to new c dog. Oops, c dog dot box, another box. And then here you go. Let's make this one a little bit smaller. So same thing, I'm going to add these two cubes. So they're all going to be kind of grouped Add to cubes with, uh, let's make it 50 height, 50. And let's just copy all this. This is going to be kind of the same thing. 
There you go. Let's change the depth to 52. All right, 50. But now I want this to be a little bit further. So I'm going to change the position of that cube. So I'm going to do translate. And then here, there's an object. I'm going to do Z. And let's do 100. Let's see if that looks good. Let's save this. All right, and look at this. So we have now a smaller cube in this specific position. Same color, same, same everything, same group. So that way it's grouped in the cubes and it's animated too. So now let's go ahead and animate that cube. So what I can do is here in the animation, I can go here and I can say um, cube two dot rotate and let's say Z zero point zero a little bit faster. Let's save that and look at that. Perfect. Now I want to create another cube. So let's create another variable called cube three is going to be equal to I want to copy cube two because um, it's going to be the same thing. Only one of these things, which is the position is going to change. So I'm going to do cube two dot copy. And then here we're going to add whatever we want to change. So I'm going to change this translate Z to negative. So it's going to be on the other side. Let's save that. And there you go. So we have the same exact cube. We copy it everything and now we can add our own thing. So let's animate this too. So cube three. And there you go. Now we have one big cube, two small cubes animated and the whole group is animated too. And we can keep adding and adding and adding more and more and more cubes and more different. It doesn't have to be a cube. It can be like a sphere. It can be a line. There's a lot going on and you can be very creative. So you can start with this very basic code. There is a link in the description if you want this code and get started. And there's another link if you want to see every single thing that is available for you to start creating these awesome 3D models. All right, that's it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.